Hello everyone, welcome to Interpretation of Topographical Map Part 7. I am Vidya Malar and I am going to teach you Calculating Area in Topographical Map. The map scale in our topographical map is 2 cm is equal to 1 km. That is 2 cm on the map is equal to 1 km. If you measure each square, then it will be 1 km on all sides in the ground. So, if we are able to find the number of squares, then that will be the answer. And always remember, answer should be written in square kilometer because each square is 1 kilometer on all sides. There are three types of questions usually asked in ICSE board exam. Let's learn one by one. First question, calculate the area between Easting 22-24 and Northing 57-59. Actually, there are two ways of doing this problem. First, let me teach you the actual method. Then I'll teach you the shortcut method. Now, step one, first write the statement. RF equal to 1 is to 50,000 and 1 square on the map is equal to 1 square kilometer on the ground. Now, step 2, I am going to highlight these Eastings 22, 24 and Northing 57, 59. So, let me take a scale. So, so these lines whose numberings increase towards the east are called Eastings. So, Easting 22 is this line. So, I am highlighting it. And Easting 24 is this line and I am highlighting it. Okay. And Northing 57, 59. So, these lines whose numberings are increasing towards north are Northings. So, this will be my Northing 57 and this is the Northing 59. So, now can you see the square formed because of our highlighted lines? So, this is the area to be calculated. We know that 1 square on the map is equal to 1 square kilometer on the ground. So, for calculating area problem, if we find out the number of squares, that will be the answer. So, here, how many squares do we have? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the answer is 4 square kilometer. Now, even though your answer is right, but you forgot to write the answer in units, that is square kilometer or kilometer square, then definitely you will get zero because no units, no marks. So, do not forget to write the units for the exam. Now, for the same problem, without even e using our actual grid lines, we can do the shortcut method. So, step one, write the statement. Step two, we are going to find the difference between this 22, 24 and Northing 57, 59. So, step one, Write the statement here. Step 2. The difference in Eastings is 24 minus 22. Okay. The difference between these two numbers. And the difference in Northing 59 minus 57 is again 2. Now step 3. Multiply the answer. So, we have 2 into 2, 4. So, the answer is 4 square kilometer. That's all. Or you can also write as 4 kilometer square. So, whichever method you do is not a problem. The answer will always be same. Now, the second type of problem, they may ask you, calculate the area to the north of a particular line or to a south of a line. Or they may ask you, calculate the area to the east of this particular line or the west of a particular line. So, let's see one example. Calculate the area to the north of Northing 98. So, this is our Northing 98. You see this red line? So, this is the question. So, I have already told you if we know the number of squares then that is the answer or you can simply use the formula length into breadth. So, here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 squares here and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 squares. So, 4 into 10, 40. So, we have got 40 squares here. So, the answer is 40 square kilometer. And actually in this map, there are small extra uh, squares on all four sides. But in our original topographical map, 
it will be complete squares so you need not uh, worry about should i uh, count the smaller squares or not you need not worry about that now this is the third type of question they may ask you what is the total area of the given map this is a old board exam map if you notice in this map we have 10 squares for length as well as breadth 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so 10 into 10, we have total 100 squares so the answer the total area of the given map to us is 100 square kilometer now there is one more topic called irregular area that is instead of calculate the area you will be asked to calculate the forest area okay so we know that this green color represents forest so they are asking you only the forest area between easting 22 24 and northing 57 59 so step 1 first write the statement then step 2 highlight the easting 22 24 and the northing 57 59 so out of these four squares we are supposed to find the forest area alone so for calculating this step 3 you number these squares if one complete square there is forest area then you give number 1 for that if only half the square is having forest then you put half there if less than half the square is having forest area then we give 1 by 3 and if more than half is there as forest area we give 2 by 3 so in that way we are going to number all these four squares so let me see so this is exactly half square is forest area so i am marking this as half only half area is forest area whereas you look at this actually this is half half of the square so forest area is less than half in that case i mark 1 by 3 here whereas here this is actually half so forest area is more than half here so i write 2 by 3 now this full square is covered by forest so i give 1 so out of these four squares 1 by 2 area is forest 1 by 3 area is forest 2 by 3 area is forest and here one complete square is forest so now step 3 number of full squares number of half squares number of 1 by 3 squares and number of 2 by 3 squares so we are going to fill this up so number of full squares we have only one number of half squares we have one 1 by 3 squares we have one and 2 by 3 squares we have one now multiply this with their value full squares means multiply them with one half square what is the value of half 0.5 and what is the value of 1 by 3 0.33 and the value of 2 by 3 is 0.66 now write the answer 1 into 1 is 1 1 into 0.5 is 0.5 3 now add them okay so the answer is 2.49 square kilometer so let's do some revision questions first question Calculate the area between easting sixty two comma sixty six and northing thirty two comma thirty four. And the second question is regarding irregular area. Calculate the forest area between easting sixty six comma sixty nine and northing twenty eight comma thirty. So I hope you have completed. Let's do the first problem now. So step one, write the statement. R is equal to one is to fifty thousand. One square on the map is equal to one square kilometer on the ground. Step two, find the difference in the value of eastings and northings. So sixty six minus sixty two is four, and thirty four minus thirty two is equal to two. Step three, we have to multiply this answer. Four into two is equal to eight. So there are total eight squares. So the answer is 
एट स्क्वायर किलोमीटर इफ यू फॉट टू राइट द यूनिट यू विल गेट जीरो मार्क द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑन इरेग्युलर एरिया Here again, first write the statement R F equal to one is to fifty thousand. So one square on the map is equal to one square kilometer on the ground. Now step two, we have to highlight the eastings and northings. So how many squares are we getting? We are getting six squares. So the total area is actually six squares. Out of these six squares, we have to find the forest area alone. We know that forest area is green in color. Now step three, we are going to give numbers for them so whenever we see a full forested square we are going to put number 1 so this square is having full forest i'm going to put this as 1 now look at this square so this is having a little area is not forest here so i will consider this as 2 by 3 so when when it is less than full or when it is like uh, more than half we consider it as 2 by 3 so i am writing 2 by 3 here as well as this square and this square so total we have three squares that are 2 by 3 now look at this square less than half the area is forest area so this is 1 by 3 and this square is also 1 by 3 so we have given numbers for each of these six squares now let's fill the statement number of full squares 1 number of half square we don't have any half squares so 0 number of 1 by 3 squares 2 and number of 2 by 3 squares we have 3 now we have to multiply them with their values so for full square multiply them by 1 Half square multiplied by zero point five, and one by three square multiplied by zero point three three, and two by three square multiplied by zero point six six. So after multiplying these values, we have to add them together. So the answer is three point six four square kilometer. Here again, the unit is very very important. So that's all for today's video. I hope you understood the concept very well. Thank you for watching. Do like and share this video and you can always contact me through the comment section if you have further doubts and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.